Hi, this is Amber Satterthwaite, Curator of Education and Museum Programs here at Drayton Hall. I'm here in the growth chart room, and if you don't know why we call it that, you've got to come find out because there's a really cool reason. But I want to show you something else pretty cool in this room. I'm going to turn you around. Now, one of the cool things about Drayton Hall, man, there's so many cool things, uh, but Drayton Hall was owned by seven generations of the same family. You know, when you think about seven generations of a family uh, owning a single home, of course, they're all going to make some changes. They're all going to leave a little something behind. And I love to point out the chimney piece here in this room as a great example of that. So we have a lot going on here that represents multiple time periods. So I'm going to zoom you in a little bit and walk over, but wanted to start out with a big picture view now. Let's go from the top down in somewhat chronological order. Here at the top, this overmantle, it's called, is very 18th century in its design. Look at it, it's big, it's bold. You notice it from across the room. These details are large in scope and are very dramatic in the way that they're created. But check this out. In the center there, you can see this little white knob. It's called a picture knob. It's made of porcelain, and you can see the kind of the ghost of where a picture used to be hanging from that. So that actually dates to the Victorian period, so much later in the 1800s. So this big dramatic overmantle. It's got John Drayton written all over it. He's the one who had Drayton Hall built, uh, most likely designed the house. But when his son Charles uh, was living here in the early 1800s, he made some changes, including putting in a different mantle here. So this mantle is actually neoclassical in design. And you can see some changes. I mean, I'm going to have to get in here pretty close for you to see some of these details. They're much smaller, right? Much more subtle. Very Greco-Roman in its design. That's what neoclassical is all about. Charles also installed a Rumford firebox. This type of firebox, you can see it's kind of trapezoidal in shape, is meant to heat more efficiently. We know he also around the same time was having some houses constructed or redesigned somehow in the enslaved community and some of those houses had room for fireboxes installed as well. Um, so I think that's pretty neat that we can see not only many generations of Drayton family usage but we also get a little hint at something that existed in those slave houses as well. So come see us, see it in person, it's even more spectacular.